Hey, hey, what's up guys? Valley Fine here. I am back. Yes, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make this video today just because of time, but I am here and I did want to talk about a post on Reddit that I saw earlier this week. Really helps to put Blitz into a good perspective. I will talk about that in just a minute, but before I do that, I wanted to address a discrepancy in price on iOS and Android that I talked about in my last video and that is what I am seeing on my phone. I'm not sure why, because apparently in the comments, a lot of you guys, maybe most of you guys have the same price on iOS and Android. So if you don't have the same price, then that video applies to you. If you do have the same prices, then pretty much ignore everything I say about the discrepancy and just focus on what I say about Android because that information still stands. I'm not sure why, my phone is different. I am in the US. Both my accounts are in the US. Um, I don't know, maybe it's something weird on the settings on my phone, but uh, that is what's on my phone. And yeah, the my, the my thoughts and views on those offers are still stand. So that is with that, let's get to the post though, because I thought this was a very good post. So this is from Alchemy Artist. And I think on Discord, he's Alchemy. And he's one of the moderators on the reddit subreddit and on the discord server and he he does mention he's just a fan and a player of this game like you and i and i really liked this post because like i said it put things into perspective how things were how you're viewing games and i'm going to put a link to it it's long so i'm going to try to summarize it but i'm going to put a and i'm also going to add in some of my own thoughts as well and own experiences with the blitz mode and the game but uh i'm gonna put a link to it down below i highly recommend checking out this article um it's got 258 um what is that karma i think it should have a lot more because this is very strong very eloquent um check it out and uh if you want to read the whole thing uh the link is in the description down below so let me go on and summarize a few points that he made that resonated with me so uh, only the top 200 players got any rewards when Blitz was first introduced, and that was only 25 shards. And it was very hard to get these, so a lot of players stopped focusing on focused on the milestones that you would get. And for me, that is pretty much how I played for most of the time until really recently. And even when I got Black Widow, uh, Black Panther unlocked i wasn't focusing on getting the rank rewards i thought it'd be nice but i was just trying to get some shards from those milestones and that's pretty much how i've been playing now when i played doctor strange i pushed a little bit because i wanted to unlock the character i thought he was a good character but even then after i got that last milestone reward i kind of stopped playing i think i did one more battle after that and only ended up spending maybe about 150 power cores or something like that i didn't spend a lot but the reason i spent that is because i wanted to get those milestone rewards and if i got the ranking rewards i was still happy now he does mention the sea mammals of blitz you know i i usually call them whales in this he calls them kraken sometimes but pretty much the same thing now uh i, I i'm just gonna read this word for word because he says it pretty pretty well pretty uh, I, I don't think i can say it better if you want to take a shortcut if you want something right now you have to spend and i think people are getting frustrated that they're not getting the same kind of rewards as uh big spenders or people that spend some money on the game and i think that's right now if you're frustrated that the beta players had an advantage you do have a legitimate argument um I'm not gonna argue that. Uh, I'm not sure why they did it that way and they gave such a huge advantage to the beta players, but that's how they did it. But it doesn't mean you can't have fun in the game. And he mentioned that a little later. Um, he, when, I, when I reached out to him, asked if I could uh, cover this, he said, just, you know, feel free to disagree with whatever you want. And there's not much to disagree with. The only thing I do have to bring up here, he mentioned is otherwise be patient until it comes available to everybody. You don't know what's gonna happen you know star wars galaxy of heroes if you guys are familiar with that game the way they launch the release characters is they make them really expensive in the beginning and whales buy them they have an advantage for a while but after a while they make these characters free to play uh, i'm assuming that they're gonna follow the same model with this game 
because a lot of elements from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes were ported over onto this uh, Marvel Strike Force. Uh, but this game's only been out globally for a little over a month, so we have no idea what they're gonna do. But um, yeah, I, but I hope this is how they do that. I hope eventually they make all these characters free to play or at least farmable. Uh, it does suck that you can't get your favorite character right away, but. You know, unless you're gonna spend money, that's just how it is. It's a free mobile game. You know, you get to play this awesome game for free, and um, you know they want to make some money. You know, Foxnet is not a charity company; they are a corporation that wants to make money, and that's how they've chosen to make their money. Um, in the process, we get a cool game to play. Some people are gonna spend a lot of money. We'll have a little disadvantage with some of these characters. You know, I know not everybody has Strange or Black Panther. I don't have a few of the characters yet myself, but. Uh, that is just it. I'm, I'm having fun with the game. Now, let me summarize these three points right here. He has three bullets down here. And um, basically, the way to catch up is to keep playing because people are going to drop out. You're slowly take their place in Arena and Blitz. And no matter how far behind you were, you'll eventually catch up to everybody. Um, the second point, very, very important. There is a max cap for each character. So there's no way to get them past level 7. There's no way to get them past level 60 at this point because that's the level cap and there's no way to get them past a certain gear point past gear 11 right now because that's the max that you could get with the gear right now uh so no matter where you are or how much money you spent that's the most you could get these characters to so eventually all your characters will be the same and, if, and you know first you'll have the start the top five similar to what these whales and these these uh, initial beta players have um, I'm, I did play in the beta, but I've only played about 30 days, so I do have an advantage over the global launch players, but not over most of the beta players. But eventually, you will catch up to them. First, it'll be your top 5 that'll be matching. Then you'll have a top 10. Then have a top 15. And eventually, your roster will look similar, except for some of these newer characters. And uh, that's how it is in a lot of games. When I was playing Future Fight, I was way behind in that game. I, I came in over a year after the launch of that game and I spent a little bit of money but you know after playing for I can't remember how long I played maybe about a year and a half I, I, I had pretty much everything ranked up to where I wanted it uh, I had all the characters unlocked and for me it kind of lost a little bit of its appeal because I think the chase is part of the appeal at least for me for these games so um, trying to you know, rank up in Arena and rank up in Blitz and these other things. Um, I think that's part of the fun of the game. And everybody plays for different reasons. That's why I play, though, just to kind of build up the roster, watching that progress. And, um, you know, be mindful of your own progress is the third bullet point he makes here. Uh, this game is for you and your fun. So you got to do what makes the game fun for you. Now, I know it's not fun when there's players that have an advantage because uh, they start playing a little earlier, or it's not fun when uh, they have an advantage when they're spending a lot of money, but you know, there's things you could do to make it fun for you. You know, who cares if some people have seven star characters? I mean, I don't have Kingpin. He's one of the best characters in the game. I don't have him yet. Um, I, I didn't have Black, uh, not Black Panther, Winter Soldier for a long time. And you know, the game was still fun for me. Um, adapt, find a way around it. Even if one character is a premium character and they're broken, don't care about the blitz rank until you see you're cl getting close to that next tier of the milestones and then push a little bit more. That's kind of the way I play most of the times. Once in a while, I will push. Um, the only time I really pushed was that Doctor Strange one, but um, you know, I'm pushing for the Captain America one now because the second Doctor Strange one, the one that ended yesterday, I lost way more than I needed. And if you start losing in blitz, you'll see that multiplier go down and down and you really don't have a chance to get to those upper um, rank rewards, but you still can get to some pretty decent milestones and get a few shards as well. So um, this last point he makes is long, but I'm going to summarize it for you guys. I highly recommend reading it because he makes some really good points, but I'm trying to shorten my videos. Um, I know this one's, this one's already at over almost 10 minutes, but basically um, in the long run, it hurts you when you spend... Uh, all this money to get these characters and even if you get him 
even if you get these characters, can you rank them? You know, I've, I've, I've got the Thanos, um, Doctor Strange, and Black Panther all within a kind of relatively short time, and I haven't been able to rank any of them, haven't been able to level them up or anything. And, you know, so if I spent a bunch of cores to try to get these guys, I would be out these cores. I wouldn't have a strong character. Um, in the long run, it's better to spend it on energy and other things that's going to benefit you more for the long run. Remember, this game is a long grind. It's not a sprint. It is a marathon. Yes, it is a marathon here. And, you know, straining yourself by sprinting for a higher position will end up hurting you. Uh, so keep a steady pace. Eventually learn when you can push and go for the bigger price. And I think the aim that everybody should be shooting for is these uh, milestones. Try to get all these milestones unlocked. And that's going to come from these uh, getting to the higher multiplier tiers. Um, and then once in a while, if you want to push, if you have the cores or if you want to spend a lot of money, then, you know, do what you want. You know, like everybody plays their own game for the for uh, everybody plays this game for their own reason. So that's it. Um, I'm just going to cut it off right there because I could keep going on and on and on and on. Uh, I do videos like this all the time, um, different topics. Sometimes I play the game, sometimes I give my thoughts on the game, sometimes I give tips on the game, and just a lot of different content for you guys. So make sure you decide to subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know what you think. I know uh, the last time I did a Blitz video, people just hated the mode, and I totally understand where you guys are coming from. It's, uh, it's a, it can be a frustrating mode if you have the wrong mindset, but if you have the mindset of just trying to get more more milestones, it's a lot more um, appealing. So, especially the way that it was before. So, that's it. I am done for right now. I will see you guys next time. Valley Flame, out!